What could I say about Bob? A tall order to pick out what to say about someone I've known for 60 years. Normally I give lectures in an hour and 15 minute format, and 60 years is roughly the time I cover when talking about the rise of the Athenian Empire between the Persian and Peloponnesian Wars. But none of you signed up for the course on the history of Bob, so I'll restrain myself. Instead, I've decided to undertake a brief survey of Bobology in inventory form. First, things I love about Bob. He's smart. He's funny. He's progressive. He's kind and generous. He's a loyal friend. He cares deeply about family. He takes wonderful care of mom. My kids adore their Uncle Bob. He buys you presents you would never buy for yourself. He's a sports fan. He has a cool dog. He's a writer. He keeps in touch. You know he will always be there for you. Second, things about Bob that drive me crazy. This is a much shorter list whose items are, when all is said and done, trivial when compared to the first list. His horrible tinny cell phone. The fact that he always calls while driving, guaranteeing the worst possible reception. He's impossible to buy presents for, since he gets himself whatever he wants. He buys me shirts size medium, but I wear XXL. Next, why Bob owes me. He used to bite me, a lot, which then fully justified my punching him, though Mom and Dad didn't always see it that way. The quarrel usually broke out because he wanted to watch some dumb TV show when something good was on. I had to return the little red wagon full of candy that he bought at the Giant Eagle supermarket in Squirrel Hill with money he stole from the maid. He always had girlfriends when I was the one who needed them. He left me to be eaten by a bear in Yosemite. Good manners precludes my saying more, but ask him. Finally, reasons why I owe him. He did so much for me when I was ill, arranged a medevac flight back from France, found me a world-class specialist in my condition, helped me argue and fight for the care I needed. He took me to England and dealt with all the crap associated with traveling with me. When I moved to a new apartment, he put together all the IKEA furniture and never complained about the hundreds of pieces and scores of steps in the directions for each component. He hosted my 50th birthday party and came back east and surprised me on my 40th and 60th. If this were an episode of This Is Your Life, I would now be coming out from behind the curtain in the back right corner of the restaurant. Turn and look, Bob. Oh, it's just the waiter but I'm really, really sorry I'm not there. Finally, I owe him for putting up with me for a lifetime and being the best, most supportive and loving brother any boy slash man ever had. All my love and happy birthday, Bob. We always wanted the 60s to come back, and now they have.